It started off dark and with a weather delay on Thursday for round one of the Dean and DeLuca Invitational, but things got bright in a hurry for leader Bryce Mulder when he made the turn. Mulder said in his post round interview he got some good looks late. Yeah, I'd say kicking things off with two birdies and wrapping up with four on his second nine. The Georgia Tech product might have had the best scorecard of the day, but the best shot of the day goes to Kevin Chappell. 158 yards out on the par for 10th hole. Slam dunks it for Eagle. That's how it's done, folks. He's looking for his fifth top 10 in his last seven starts with his 68 on Thursday. At T9, Bill Haas didn't need his putter for this one either. From the beach on eight. Did he do it? Oh, yes, sir. There you go. Little low chunk and run. Didn't have to fly it all the way there. They've been sitting down slightly. And Emiliano Grillo was dialed in on one. Nailed it. That'll work. The boys from Texas were doing it big on day one at Colonial. Patrick Reed is just one shot off the lead, and Colonial member Ryan Palmer is just one shot back of him with his 66. Am I forgetting anyone else? Oh yeah. <laughs> Dallas native Jordan Spieth came out guns blazing with his 20-footer out of the gate on one. And this 25-footer on nine. Hence why he leads the PGA Tour in birdie average. In search of his first win in his home state of Texas, Spieth is tied for ninth heading into Friday, along with David Toms, who won here at Colonial back in 2011 and sunk this near 20-footer for birdie on 10. Fitting into that theme, Jason Duffner rolled in this 24-footer on 13 en route to his 66. Kick off your Friday with Jordan Spieth and co starting at 8 a.m. Eastern on PGA Tour Live. And you know I'll be here recapping day two of the Dean and DeLuca Invitational for another edition of The Takeaway.